seven years old And my bow ties are skin Gonna get somebody in Jesus Christ In a brown velvet suit All the girls are dressed like angels How sweet to the sad I'll be not afraid All those delicate friends The trailing skirts are Rhubarb, kale, broccoli, leeks. Uh, yeah. Mate, have you spoken to Fiona this morning? <laughs> no. Well, she's in the hospital. What? It's not her, she's fine. It's, it's her dad. How is Dan? Hi. Uh, Fiona rang about an hour ago. They still haven't heard anything. Plus, she said we shouldn't open the restaurant today. I see. It's in the bag. Oatmeal and some fruit. You left so early, so... Here's your coffee. Selena just did me a fry-up. You know how Jeff loves a fry-up. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Oh? Still waiting to hear. I could be doing with one of those. Uh, Shane, you do know that we're not opening today? Yeah. Fiona said, are you going to go home? No, I've got to get ready for this catering thing at the gallery. There's plenty more to do. OK, well, I can help with that. Yeah, we all can. Right, Pavel? Of course. All oh, right, Shane, when you're done there, I need you to go pick up a box of uh, a wine from Harcourt Street, please. OK. I'm sure Jojo feels terrible about yesterday. Oh, I didn't get that impression, mate. You know what she's like. She finds it hard to, uh, to take responsibility. She screwed up. Jojo loves this place. Like I said, mate, I really didn't get that impression. I'll go get that wine. If you wouldn't mind. Swinging in the backyard, pull up in your fast car with a big kiss, put his favorite perfume on. Go play a video. It's you, it's you, it's all for you Everything I do, I tell you all the time Heaven is a place on earth Sorry about that, mate. I just couldn't resist the fry-up. You remind me of my grandmother. I would love to carry on without asking, but I just can't. What? She has eaten fried breakfast every day for the last 70 years. Hmm. She says, live each day as if it was your last. Hmm. Bit of a headless, your old gran. <laughs> Jeff, can we pretend Selena didn't let it slip about the restaurant in Prague? Okay. Okay? Yes. Well. I just left some proposal on your desk. We can go through it. I can read it, Pavel. And I will, I promise, okay? Okay. Maybe you will get to meet my grandmother sometime soon. Maybe, yes. Where are you going? I'm going to get another coffee. Your grandma will approve. Pavel. Yeah? <laughs> so do I. Look, I'm sure he was going to talk to you about his restaurant plan. I feel really bad mentioning it first. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So you guys are okay now? Yeah. Absolutely. Good.
Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to go now. Okay. Didn't anybody know he was sick? Fiona and Kate didn't. Listen, Mum's been looking for you. She said you left early. Shane, you need to do the salads now, please. Yeah. Come on. You look tired. Has Philip called you? Why should he have? If you want to talk to him, why did you bring him yourself? He hasn't been answering his phone. So call around to his flat then. There is no flat, Jojo. Philip was homeless. That's why Raw was the best thing that ever happened to him. You finished with your coffee? Selena, mm -hmm. I've just been thinking, well, I'm really glad you're staying in Dublin for a bit. Thanks, Pavel. I know you must be tired of sleeping on our sofa, so I called my old landlord. The place I used to rent is still vacant. It's not as close to town as you might like, but it's cheap and you can move in right away. That's really nice of you, Pavel, but I'm happy staying at Jeff's. I'm sorry you went to all that trouble. It's not just Jeff's place, it's both of ours. There's not enough room for three people. Oh, well, I've got plenty of room. Besides, Jeff wants me to stay. I know him pretty well, and I think he'd be very unhappy if he thought I was being made to move out. Well, I know Jeff pretty well too, Selena. He is my boyfriend, after all. I don't think he would see this as making you move out. Really? I understand money might be the issue, but I'm sure Jeff could help you out with the first month rent. You haven't got a clue, have you, Pavel? About what? The first month's rent isn't going to cut it. Jeff owes me far more than that, because he's far more than just a friend. He's my husband, Pavel. We're married. Uh, there's a lot of information here. Must have taken you a while. Yes. Well, why didn't you mention it to me? I and mean, we were on the phone every night. Why you never mentioned you were married? To a woman? To Selena? Did she tell you that? It's not true. No, it's true. We, we did get married. But it was years ago, in, in London, for, a, for my visa. Your visa? Yeah, my work visa. Yes, that's all it was, Pavel. <laughs> She married me so I could stay in Europe. She's a good friend. Well, she's not your friend anymore. She's been setting us against each other and pulling us apart. But pa Pavel, 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 where are you going? I'm going to speak with her. No, no, don't do that. Why? Because there's something going on with her at the moment. I don't know what it is, but she's desperate. You say the wrong thing. She could go to the authorities. She could have me deported, mate. Jeff, pick up Vans here. Thanks. I need to go and sort out this delivery, okay? I'm going to sort this out too, okay? Okay, the crayfish. Here. Crab cakes. Yeah, they're there, chef. Okay. Hey. He's all right. It wasn't severe. You'll have to cut back on the cocktails, but I think we can all live with that. Oh, right. God. That's really. Huh. And you're all right? Yeah, thanks, Joe. Okay. Is Kate still at the hospital? No, she's gone into town shopping. Come on, mate. Where's Pavel? Ah, he stepped out for a bit. He picked his time out, didn't he? Lisa likes brandy in the way it hits her lips. She's a rock and roll survivor with pendulum hips. She's got deep brown eyes that have seen it all. Working at a nightclub that was called the Avenue, the barman used to call a little Lisa Looney Chin. She went on almost anyone. But from the hard time living till the Chelsea days, from when her hair was sweet blonde till the day it turned red, she said, L I F E G. 
Okay, that set the mood. Philip, you need to come back to Raw. <laughs> you made it clear I'm not welcome there. I was wrong. I shouldn't have said those things. And I shouldn't have led you to think that there was any possibility that anything could happen between us. Look, I'm a bit of a mess right now, and you just got caught in the crossfire. Doesn't matter. It does. You have real talent. You shouldn't waste it. Look, Jojo, it's over. I'm going back home with my dad today. He's coming to collect me. Well, don't. Don't do that. You're mad. It's too late. It's the way it is. But just tell Jeff I'm sorry for messing him about like that. And can you give this to Emma? I think you should give it to her yourself. She could do a seeing you right now. What do you mean? Dan was taken to hospital last night. I think he's okay, but I don't know. Just give her the notebook. No. You can do your own dirty work. 